Let's look at capital gains tax in business income. Capital gains, they arise from the disposal, you should note that, from the disposal of a business asset that is not a depreciable asset, e.g. land and building. We have two types of assets in business income. We have the depreciable assets and they are for wear and tear and then we have the capital gains, I mean the business assets. The business assets are for capital gains tax and the depreciable assets, they are for wear and tear. So, the capital gain is the excess of the consideration over the cost base of the asset. The excess of the consideration is like the gain on disposal. Because we said capital gains, it, always, it arises only on disposal of a business asset. So, in case you sell a business asset at a value higher than its net book value, yeah, that gain that, that you get is what we call the capital gain. In case it's not this net book value was like one like two m and you sold it at four m the difference between the two the excess consideration of the cost base is what we call the capital gain yeah. so it is the excess consideration over the cost base of the asset however there may also be a loss an asset can be of four m and then you sell it at two m there is also a capital loss. And the loss is not taxed, but a gain is taxed. Yeah, a capital gain is taxed and the loss is not taxed. There is no separate capital gains tax legislation in Uganda. However, a capital gains from a bit from business are taxable under the provision of Income Tax Act with other business income at a rate of 30%. So if you if you have a capital gains of 1M or the gain on disposal of 1M, they tax 30% of it, which is 300K. 300K becomes taxable. And that is all about the capital gains tax. It arises on disposal of a business asset and it is the excess consideration over the cost base of the asset. And it can also be a loss. Tax at a rate of 30%.